feeling like a shark in a shrimp tank. Big fish, small pond in the shrimp tank. Welcome to the post-show wrap-up of The Shrimp Tank, coming to you from the Whedon Unleashed studio. I'm Brad Berger, along with my co-host, Dan Whedon, and our guest today is Matt Biondi of Biondi Media. We just had an intriguing and fun conversation with Matt. To visit and listen to the entire podcast, go to shrimptankpodcast.com slash Seattle, or now through iHeartRadio. You can still subscribe to our podcast on iTunes. We are always interested in your feedback, so so please do not forget to rate us. Matt, you know what was intriguing about the conversation is the fact that I consider you to be somewhat of a pioneer. Long before there was Facebook and Instagram and LinkedIn, you were doing something called the video handshake. And I would love to get your perspective on how things have changed over the last decade as, as far as the way that businesses reach out and communicate uh, with other businesses. Well, thank you, and thank you for having me on. Uh, and it, what I would say is I spent 25 years in television, uh, and the focus was uh, getting those at home that otherwise have no connection to an athlete, getting them to be able to understand what the person is all about and to be able to feel like they can communicate through their televisions really at home from a mental aspect. In business, it's the same way. The video handshake was created to build relationships uh, between um, the business owner and a potential client of mm -hmm. theirs. And you do that by, by telling stories, by being able to um, get somebody to second base in the relationship building. Much more important to have a third party narrate someone's story than have them talking about themselves. And that's really how that started. Nowadays with where social media is, um, it, just, it just is escalating even more. Well, Matt, you did something for six years, a sports anchor in a couple big media markets. I would have loved to do that. I think I, I dreamed of doing that as a kid. Uh, you got to live that dream. I'm curious, and you talked about this on the podcast, so go back and listen. I'm curious, how did that experience of being on air, on, on dealing with that job of being an anchor, how did that help you as an entrepreneur? First off, what I needed to do is I needed to take that ego and – put it right at the front doorstep. Um, whether it's a live situation or something on tape, um, it's, it's all about communicating with the public. It's all about understanding that you're never bigger than any story out there. And when it relates to business, it's about you know understanding that and coming across in such a professional manner that the person you're talking to feels relaxed and, and feels like they can trust you. Well, Matt, uh, you talked about your two amazing girls and your experience of being a single dad during the time in which you're you know, obviously raising them and, and uh, starting up and operating a successful business. And you really touched on something that we talk a lot about on the Shrimp Tank, and that's work-life balance. So if you could just share a little bit about your story, as well as just how important for all business owners and entrepreneurs work-life balance is, I know our audience would appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, I've been a single father for over 12 years, about moving from Philadelphia back to Seattle. My girls were nine and five at the time, and so as I was trying to create my business and, and work through a lot of that, I was also raising them. Um, very much being grounded when it comes to uh, raising your kids. Uh, uh, and, and what helped me in, in my growth of that was my faith. So whether faith has to do with um, balancing life with kids and, and your professional career, um, it's, it's all about um, learning from that on a day-to-day -day basis, not taking things too seriously, but at the same time, as it relates to life, being able to bottle some of those experiences and not think too far ahead. Well, Matt, we want to thank you for having joined us. I'm hoping that there's somebody out there watching this saying, I want my story told by that guy. How would they reach you? Well, they can reach me at... Uh, beyondimedia.com or they can uh, uh, reach us uh, through email at matt at beyondimedia.com or the telephone number 206-384-1780. Well, once again, this is just a taste of what you can expect by listening to the entire podcast. Visit shrimptankpodcast.com slash Seattle or listen to us on iHeartRadio. 
You can also subscribe to our podcast on iTunes and now on Google Podcasts. We would love to hear from you, and please do not forget to rate us. Thanks to all of our Shrimp Peeler sponsors and to you, our listeners and followers. And our next show from the Weed and Unleashed studio will be two weeks from now, Wednesday, March 18th, when our guest will be David Dockstadter with The Workshop. You'll want to join us then, because for right now... The hay is in the barn. I've been feeling like a shark in a shrimp tank. Big fish, small pond in the shrimp tank.